Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. So before we get into the energy and the type of reading we're going to do, I want to talk about the rules of tarot. Now, tarot is a divination tool used to tap into the creator, if that is your intention, to see what the current energy is and what's about to come. Now, please keep in mind, guys, that the messages here on YouTube are general. They're not going to resonate every time with every person. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title resonating for you, there's most likely going to be something in the message. If there's any questioning, if there's any confusion, I recommend highly to reach out uh, to your favorite tarot reader and ask for a personal reading. Me, myself, I do offer free readings. I do so many free readings a month. So if that's something that you need because financially you can't afford, feel free to reach out, guys. Don't hesitate. Now, for information on rituals, for ritual kits, for personal readings, it's all linked below in the description box. The format of my readings personally, I do a general reading portion and then I will do an extended reading portion. The general reading has a lot of information in it. If you want more information on that specific topic because it's resonating for you, you're more than welcome to purchase each individual reading. You can also subscribe to the membership channel on Patreon and it will give you access to all of the extended readings for all of the signs, plus the extra content that I upload over there which I'm going to be putting more content out over there coming here in the next month or so. So be on the lookout for that. If you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here and it does help to set intention for future messages. Now this message is going to be a full moon energy reading for the full moon that is going to peak on November 15th. Now this full moon is going to be the last super moon of the year, and it's going to peak in the sign of Taurus. So what does this mean for the collective? Well, Taurusian energy is about practical things, money, like wealth, like material possessions. So if you feel on edge, if you feel anxious or tense, now is going to be an important time to ground yourself through the energy grounding and meditation. Hugging a tree is the easiest way to ground your energy. You can also do connection with nature. Go and do a nature walk. You can go into your kitchen or your bathroom if you can't get outside and run your hands under cold water while you're listening to nature sounds or lukewarm rather. Okay, so there's different ways that you can ground your energy. Big changes are coming for the collective. So this is going to be a good time to practice grounding, meditation, and focusing on the positive things that are coming in. More so than the negative things that are going away. Now, as far as material possession, wealth, money, finance, things like your career, your job, ways you make money may be changing. There may be some unexpected income coming in. There may also be some unexpected bills. So hope for the best and prepare for the worst. So for my Virgo friends, it's time to step out of your comfort zone, push through the fear. Big blessings await on the other side. It'll be important for you to focus your energy through this full moon. Blinders up and don't get distracted. Stay focused. And, and stay focused on what, you might ask. Okay, well, is there a plan that you've had that you've been working on towards something that you're building in the future? Is there a relationship that you're working on towards the future? Is, is there a trip that you're planning? Stay focused on whatever it is that you've been focusing on because there are going to be things that are going to try and come in and distract you. 
So you're needing to be, keep your blinders up. Let's dive in with tarot. Let's see what we can see for your upcoming energy. Most important message here for Virgo. Spirit, what do my Virgo friends need to know? What do they need to see through this upcoming energy? Please and thank you. Emperor, the Ten of Swords, the Judgment. Okay. Some of you, this is going to have to do with work because the Emperor can be a boss, and some of you, this has to do with a relationship that's coming to an end. And even though this ending may be difficult, I do feel intuitively that you've already known that you needed to free yourself from the situation because it's holding you back from your true potential. These cards are going to be the advice guidance moving forward will pull this over in the extended. Along with clarifying. So there's an ending that's happening and that's why there's a need to stay focused on what you've been working towards, the seeds you've been planting, seven of pentacles, okay? Stay focused. Stay crystal clear on what it is that you're bringing into your life. The seven of wands talks boundaries, blinders. Make sure that you know what you will accept and what you don't want to come, okay? It's going to be important. Again, there's things that are falling away, whether this is relationship, whether this is work, and even though it's difficult, this needed to happen. You needed to let go in order to move into a new space. It doesn't make it feel any nice, any nicer, any prettier, okay? It may even feel gut-wrenching to some of you with the tower energy present. But I do feel here, Virgo, it's going to be necessary for you to move into this new space. This person or this job, it can't come with you to where you're headed. And you're being called to put your trust in that. What it is that you're building, what it is that you're working towards, it's greater than what's falling away. The Page of Swords tells me, Virgo, that all eyes are on Virgo. Like everybody's watching, everybody's waiting to see how you react. And how you are about to react in the situation is going to baffle a lot of people because it's not how you normally would have reacted in the past, but you've changed. And you've become clearer on what it is that you want your life to look like. And you've also let go of things that aren't serving your highest good. It's a beautiful energy. Keep up the good work. You're on the right path. You're doing the right thing. You're making the right decisions. Good job. Congratulations, buddy. Congratulations, friend. That's amazing. I love seeing other people do well for themselves. What I don't like seeing is people recruiting people to hate on those people. So try to ignore the haters. Try to ignore what's falling away. And again, focus on the things that you're working towards, on the, thing, the seeds that you've already planted. So I am going to clarify. And I'm going to clarify in the extended version. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. For information on rituals for ritual kits, personal readings, all linked below in the description box. And if you found the message was helpful, if it's resonating, please give it a thumbs up. 
or comment below how it was helpful, how it was resonating. You never know how your story could help another person. So your moon manifestation oracle coming out for you, Virgo, is confidence. So the message that comes with this card, Virgo, this is your time. The time is now. The world needs you. Much is going to be asked of you as you move through your life's challenges and receive spirit's gifts. Know that spirit has chosen you and that you have everything that you need to make the right decision. Walk with your head held high and take the next step toward your goal with confidence. Spirit will be with you every step of the way. Beautiful, beautiful Virgo. I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this energy. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. I hope the message was helpful for you and I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste. So just wanted to come on and talk a little bit about what's new and exciting for our tribe and here on the channel. So on Tuesdays, I'm going live at 1 p.m. Most Tuesdays that I don't have an event that weekend, only because I'm usually preparing for an event. Also for events to connect in person, check out Facebook. That's where I can share the actual event page for you to go check out each individual event. If you're interested in the newsletter, the monthly newsletter comes out the third week of the month. So if that's something that you're interested in, you sign up over on the website. On the link tree, I have all the links on how to connect with me whether it be Facebook, Instagram, I also have Teespring, the website. Also keep in mind guys, through the website is the only way to book a personal reading. If you reach out to me um, and message me personally, that's fine, but I'm always going to refer you back to the website because that has my schedule. It has a calendar where you get to select the day and the time where your reading will be done. Please just give me a little bit of grace when doing these events also guys. It can take a lot out of me to have to prepare and also to set up and to interact whether it be a day or a two day event. So just give me a little bit of grace the weeks that I have the events going on. I promise I didn't forget about you guys. I promise I will be back um, and I will be live again soon. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support, for liking, for subscribing, for sharing the content. You guys are all amazing, and I look forward to connecting again soon. Namaste.